You will not believe how many times I've tried recording this goddamn tutorial. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Paul, and Voice Meter Banana is absolutely one of the most complicated pieces of software I've ever had to try and explain to anyone. I have had to go through the explanation of this multiple times, and I am preemptively creating this video so that I can just send it to people whenever they ask me, Hey Paul, how does that audio recording software work? <laughs> oh god, is this answer ever complicated? But, before we actually start the tutorial, because this is a very complicated piece of software that will inevitably make you lose audio at some point, let me go ahead and get you familiar with a very certain window. You are absolutely going to be familiar with the sound window. This little window right here, that allows you to basically look at all your current playback devices, all your current recording devices, is going to save you so much headache. Because this is where all of your problems will happen. Usually, what ends up happening is Windows is, uh, whenever you connect a new device to Windows and Windows detects that as a playback device, Windows will be like, oh shit, there's a new pair of speakers here. Let's go ahead and make that the default device, which means that during the middle of a tutorial, if you decide to install these pieces of software and Windows detects it and it will detect it as a playback device, Windows will automatically default that to being your default, which means that whatever you're currently listening to me on is not going to work in the foreseeable future. So if you lose audio at any point, during the process of this tutorial, I'm going to recommend that you go into your playback devices and you set your default device back to what it was before. If you are watching the video and your audio cuts out midway, you may have to close down your browser and then open it back up again in order for the audio to work after you've switched devices. Because it's just weird like that and it doesn't, it doesn't always work the way that you wouldn't want it to. But, back to the point. I'm being really salty. I'm sorry, this the soft, this tutorial has been super stressful for me. <laughs> okay, first things first, you're going to need to download a virtual audio cable and voice meter banana. You can download both of these in either, uh, I believe it is the zip file or the exe. I personally go for the zip files every time, but I believe there's an exe for Oh, uh, actually, I don't think there is one for voice uh, VB cable, but there is one for banana. For banana, you can pick either. For VB audio cable, you're going to have to know how to unpack zip files. Uh, find a tutorial for that. <laughs> this, These are the two main pieces of software we're going to be working with. Sweet! The first thing we're going to do, the very, very first thing we're going to do, is we are going to take both of these files and we're going to go ahead and unzip them and install them. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, cool. I got them both unzipped. Now, here's an important thing to keep in mind. Whenever you are launching uh, either of these, go ahead and right click the uh, the exe of your choice. So it's either the setup exe or the setup x. Uh, 64 if you're on a 64-bit system go ahead and do that and run as administrator and Make sure that you go ahead and just approve that It's going to tell you to reboot your system to complete the installation Do not do this yet. Do not restart yet because that is a nightmare You're going to want to install voice meter as well so I'm going to save you some time and tell you to just install them both at the same time and then restart your computer. Now I'll be back after I restart my computer. Now here's a few things that I'm actually going to recommend right out of the gate before we even open up Voice Meter Banana. Because Voice Meter Banana is its own monster. I'm going to recommend that you go into your playback devices and you take this, uh, this input, cable input, and cable output on uh <laughs> on your sound devices and you're going to rename these 
And for the sake of our argument, you're you're trying to stream to Twitch. You're trying to separate uh, Discord audio. So we're going to go ahead and call this Discord uh, Discord input. And we're going to go ahead and call the other one uh, Discord output. This it's to save you a lot of headache later. Uh, <laughs> you will not believe how many times I've uh, confused everything for each other. And it's just, it's been a nightmare. It's been absolute hell. <laughs> Let's talk about Voice Meter Banana. And uh, this piece of software can be really confusing and really disorienting at first. But I, prom I promise it's not that scary. Um... For the sake of this tutorial, we're not going to be using every feature that Voice Meter Banana has. We're just going to be talking about the v the features you're going to be using. We're going to go ahead and head up here to where it says Hardware Out. Because right here is where you uh, select your playback devices. If you notice, it says A1, A2, and A3 here. If you go over to any of these inputs, you're going to notice A1, A2, and A3. Basically, whatever devices you select here are going to be the playback devices that you can play audio through from here. So if I were to uh, select my line out as my primary device and my monitor as my secondary device, what I can essentially do is I can toggle uh, really easily which device it's getting the audio by just toggling either A1 or A2, um, depending on which one I have lined up up here. It's actually really convenient. And I use it a lot for switching from using my headphones to using my computer speakers. It can be a really, really helpful tool and I, I can't emphasize this enough, you definitely need it. Once you have your A1, A2, and A3 selected, which by the way, I definitely recommend doing WDM because I believe that has the lowest latency. Um, you're going to go over to hardware input one. Now here is where I normally select my microphone. Now you're going to want to do this because there might be some audio configurations you want to do where you send audio uh, say over call through discord, you're going to need your microphone here in order for you to essentially push out not only your voice, but your, uh, desktop audio through say discord so that your friend can also hear your music or something along those lines. So go ahead and pick uh, your microphone, which for me, that is my line N. And now you're going to see that whenever I talk, now you can see that there's uh, sound peaks uh, populating here whenever I speak. And that is very good. That is, that is what we want. Now, um, I do have this in my setup, but I don't actually use it at this current moment in time for my personal setup. But I, it's nice to have <clears throat> on the off chance I ever need to do a uh, an, an unconventional setup. <laughs> We're going to go up to where it says hardware input one. We're going to right click and then we're going to just label it microphone for the sake of clarity. <clears throat> now we're going to go over to hardware input two and we're going to pick discord output. Now, if you're talking to friends on discord, this is like actually the track where you'll see their voice populate. <clears throat> It's, it's very convenient, very convenient. We're going to keep A1 highlighted because we do want to be able to hear our friends. And we're going to disable B1 because you don't want your friends to hear themselves. I will explain what B1 and B2 do momentarily. In hardware input 3, oh also by the way you should probably label this. Now, in hardware input 3, I'm actually not using it, but I have used it in the past. Um, if you decide you want another audio input that it's separated from your desktop, uh, this is definitely the way to do that. So just make sure that you, uh, you only use what you need and you deselect anything that it might be confusing or disorienting. And for the last part of the tutorial, we're actually only going to use voice meter VAIO. We're not even going to use the auxiliary input device. 
So we're going to de uh, deselect these. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to essentially go into our playback devices and we're going to select voice meter input. Now, if you didn't follow this tutorial correctly, what will happen is you probably will lose audio at this point. However, if you did follow the tutorial correctly, when you press set default, you shouldn't lose audio. You may have to go back and restart your, uh, your Chrome or your Firefox, but generally speaking, you shouldn't be losing audio. You should still be able to hear the video once you restart Chrome or Firefox. So now you can actually tell that when we play audio, which what am I going to play for the sake of this example? That is the question. Let's go ahead and do some relaxing Zelda music. You can now actually see on voice meter that under voice meter VAIO, there are audio peaks populating and we can turn them down and we can turn it up. Not that I would recommend that. It's very convenient. Now then, I did promise. So let me talk to you about what an audio mix does. So if you notice, and I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and keep that audio very low. I do like the ambiance, so I'm going to leave it there, but I'm going to keep it very low. <laughs> so if you actually notice, right here we have voice meter output and we have voice meter auxiliary output. Both of these are essentially your mixes. This is your B1 and your B2. You can even rename them that if you want, but I don't because it looks not great. <laughs> so what you're going to do uh, is if, say you want to have your friend on Discord listen to not only your voice, but to the music that's casually playing in the background, what you can do is you can go ahead and highlight B1 on both your microphone and on the desktop audio. And you'll now notice that whenever I speak, the audio gets uh, much higher, much more populated. I can even mute the gameplay audio or sorry, the, the music. And you can actually see the direct result of that. It's quite nice, honestly. <laughs> and this is really helpful if you want to like send your audio over Discord for any reason. I personally also use it so that I can send my uh, gameplay audio through my... Uh, through my mixer into my computer over Discord to my friends so that they can basically see me play games in real time, despite the fact that they are multiple states away. And now, I'm going to go ahead and disable these because I'm not going to use these for the time being. Let me show you why this is cool in both Discord and in OBS. So let's go ahead and go into our audio devices. I'm going to go ahead and disable these for the time being. And, okay, cool, everything's still working on my other OBS. <laughs> I'm just keeping an eye on everything. So in the audio settings, you're going to pick uh, a few different devices. You're going to go ahead and pick, uh, for desktop audio, you're going to pick voice meter input. Because we set this as our default device in the uh, playback devices, this will actually contain all of your gameplay audio. In desktop audio too, we are going to go ahead and pick Discord input. This will obviously be your friend speaking. 
under your mic. Go ahead and just pick your uh, your microphone. Don't even bother picking any of the other options. Uh, for me, that's my line in. And if you want to get a little bit more spicy, you can go ahead and pick your voice meter output. Now let's go ahead and click on all of those and see what's going on. So, as you can see, I have my desktop audio here. And this is actually playing all of the Zelda music very loudly. <laughs> Fortunately, you can't hear that in this recording, but trust me, it would, it would be very loud. I'm going to quickly mute. Uh, going to quickly mute that, that audio because uh, it would start to get a little bit loud and a little grating on my ears. So now you actually have individual volume control of not only your desktop audio, but you can also have volume control for your Discord audio. And that is usually under desktop audio too. We can just go ahead and quickly rename that to Discord for the sake of clarity. And if I were to go into a call, you can now see that there are the audio playing through Discord is currently being played through here. And it's super easy to set up. All you gotta do is head over to your Discord settings, go into your voice and video, and make sure that your output, your output device is Discord input. And here's an even cooler part. You can actually influence the volume of the audio that gets played through your headphones. So I'm actually going to use a different audio device. Whoops! Please give it back to me. Thank you. I'm going to use a different audio device to actually show this. This is going to be my uh, USB audio codec. As you can actually see, my headphones and my Discord audio are both very different volumes. My headphones are currently muted and my Discord audio is incredibly loud, <laughs> but I can't hear any of it because I currently have it muted in voice meter banana. It's quite useful actually to be able to do things like that. And alternatively, what you can do is if you wanted, you can have music playing in the background through any program, really. It could be like Spotify, Discord, it doesn't matter. You can have it playing in the background, but it won't output that music out to stream. There's a lot of different combinations that you can do for this. And if you want to see another combination, which I will be glad to show you right now, here's what we can do. Going back to our desktop audio, we're going to go ahead and show our mic auxiliary too is actually comprised of not only my voice, but my desktop audio as well. There is a lot of power behind Voice Meter Banana, and this is only a taste of what you can do. But the moment you get a handle for how this program works, the better. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. My name is Paul, and as a reminder, I do stream on twitch.tv forward slash super positive uh, five days a week, every Sunday through Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I nearly forgot my spiel. <laughs> If you want to go watch and support me, I would actually really appreciate it if you went over and followed and maybe even dropped a sub. That's up to you. That's up to you. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like this video and share it around if you feel like it helped you and you need somebody or you know somebody who needs the help as well. Okay, bye!